So let's talk about materials. What to use, what not to use, what has the most hit points, you'll never guess, but it's gold. That's right. I guess they figured because it weighs so much, it must have the most hit points too. Go figure. Hello, my fellow Novians. My name is Rob, and welcome to another video in this tutorial series. Today, we're going to be talking about different materials and their weights in regards to building ships. So, I'm over here at the BSC Block Warehouse to do just that, and also to um, use as a visual uh, of some of the things that you are trading for things like lighter materials. So let's talk about how do we check stats, right? If you're not at the block warehouse and you can't right click on something, like if I come over here, whoop, let's go faster and use those healies. Okay. If I come over here and I right click, like I can't, I can't actually like inspect this. I can't inspect what it is uh, or what not, right? I can see what it is by hitting H. I know it's painted yellow iron, Ugh. Um, but I can't inspect it. So if you're at a place like the block warehouse or something, you can open up your nano crafter and type in um, the material uh, to see what it is. Obviously, if you're in a surrogate session, we can't click on the thing because it's action forbidden in surrogate session. Um, but we can talk about this and then we can go back to uh, reality and I can show you the different values of the nano crafter. So, Let's talk about what to avoid first when building your first ship or you're building um, your second ship or 20th ship or whatever. And you just really haven't been paying attention to weights and hit points and things like that. Most people are going to build their ships out of aluminum because uh, bauxite is easy to get. It's easy to refine and it's easy to make into honeycomb. And aluminum has quite a bit of pattern variety. So you have like the ugly ones, you have the uglier ones. You have the really ugly ones, and then you have like the ones down here. So, you know, you have polished gray aluminum, polished white aluminum, the galvanized uh, white aluminum, black aluminum, all that good stuff, right? And then you have the ugly patterns, um, which, you know, oh, aluminum, yay, look at that. Make me a ship out of that, or this purple one. Um, so that's why most people choose aluminum now as you get heavier you get some prettier materials but they are heavier and as you get lighter the materials are uglier so i don't know if that was a dev choice to make the lighter materials ugly uh but you know better <laughs> um so if we look at um one of the lightest materials, which would be lithium. You can see that these are some ugly patterns. If you made your entire ship out of this, like, okay. Um, so really, if you're gonna be building a ship, you're kind of stuck with like matte lithium or glossy lithium or aged lithium, right? And nobody really wants to well, I mean, maybe you do. I don't, I'm not going to judge, but like, I mean, this is, it, I guess this could work for like a hangar or something, but I'm not going to make my entire ship out of this. Uh, and that's cobalt. Um, but the same thing with sodium, which is another very light material. It's got the same nasty, ugly patterns um, that you see there. So like, let's go look at sodium, right? And these are tier two and tier three materials. So they you know it's harder to find them they take longer to mine they take longer to refine um, so these aren't as bad um, but still you know I'm uh, when I'm looking through the block warehouse I don't immediately go oh let me build a ship out of this um, right All right uh, what's that H sodium kind of looks wonky right huh that might be interesting if you were doing like a camo pattern ship um, 
So those are the two lightest materials, but then as we get like heavier, if we look at product here, if we look at like steel, 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 steel. Steel is technically a product. but it's over here okay so let's look at steel right i mean look at this these are i'd make a ship out of that green even though i hate I, i'm not a fan of it but it looks nice um the orange looks nice the blue i mean all these look nice right and then if you get into um polished steel like let me turn my light off here that's still galvanized if we go down to like polished steel i mean look at that that's that is very pretty. Like, I wish I could make a ship out of that, um, but I actually want to get off the ground. So if you're making a cargo ship, you can use, like, accents in these things. Like, you could do some steel accents, um, and it's 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 not really going to cause that much of an issue when you're hauling things. I mean, if you're an every ounce kind of counts guy or gal then you probably don't want to use them as accents but i i would say it's in the scheme of things it doesn't really cause that much extra rate it's just like a couple kilograms per meter squared um, but if you make your whole ship out of it and then you're into tons um that's where you're gonna see problems so you can see like there's such a selection of steel and then if we go to the heaviest material which is also the most hit points and is not even a tier 5 material we can go to gold right and then we've got some ugly ones but we've also got some good ones here um, galvanized dark gray gold out galvanized other things black gold goldy gold polished gold master nasty pattern stained gold <laughs> etc right um i mean you can make your ship out of plastic too if you wanted to there's there's quite a variety too but then you're back to like the whole aluminum thing right um so they don't have a lot of hit points and they they don't weigh a lot um but you can see like you've got some definite selections here when it comes to like gold di different gold looks uh where you don't get that with the lighter materials um so yes gold has the most hit points because it is the heaviest even though it is the most malleable and you would definitely not use gold in like a bulletproof vest or something like that i mean if you're going to coat your body with gold bricks then yeah maybe um <laughs> but gold is a material in the real world you would not use it as armor um, but here you do so let's jump out this surrogate session All right, back at Chimera, 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 uh, back at Chimera headquarters here. Um, let me show you the Nyx, which is our newest um, ship. This is a warp uh, shuttle, not a warp hauler. It does not haul things other than peoples, right? So um, it's, a, it's a light warp shuttle, extra small core. We've got a container here for some warp cells. It'll do two, two warp cells to Mattis. Uh, you know, we've got DU orbital and, and DU um, damage here, and uh, yeah, I had fun making this one. Um, I kind of like tried to keep the weight down by making like slatted uh, voxels and not just making like solid voxels everywhere, so it uses the light, the least amount of aluminum voxels to get the cost down. Now, I bring this up um, because I try to test on this, right? I changed this entire voxel work to lithium just to see what would happen and there was absolutely no change um, there was a change in terms of like top speed and um, weight reduction in that in that sense um, but it, that, I mean in the in the scheme of like it's a warp shuttle I don't really need it to be lighter than it is or have a higher top speed you know the uh, the, the two things for me are does it go into orbit a yes does it warp and does it use the least amount of cells yes so changing this to lithium did absolutely nothing in terms of uh how many warp cells it costs to get somewhere 
So I just left it aluminum because the other thing you want to look at when you're looking at building a ship that might be for sale is how much do you want to charge people for it? And how, how easy is it for you to get the materials? So if you make a ship out of lithium, you better have a supply of lithium in case somebody comes to buy it. You don't want to be like, well, I have to go out and I got to go mine some lithium um, and then refine it in order to make another another ship. Um, also, you know, it keeps the price down because tier three materials or tier four materials are uh, less are more expensive than tier one materials. So this is made out of carbon fiber, which is just a little bit more weighty than aluminum, but not enough to actually matter. Um, and now I brought up that you could use your nano crafter to look up weights and things like that. It still thinks I'm in a surrogate session. So I've got that bug, which is great. So let me go ahead and relog, and then I will get right back here and we'll continue this video. All right, we got that out of the way. It's an annoying bug, but you really do need to log off and back on anytime you go into VR anyway. If you watch my tips and tricks video, the uh, the 10, uh, 10 things every person, every DU person should know, um, you all know that you should definitely log off and back on every time you use VR because your skills get uh, reset. Not in terms of that you can actually see or you have to go back and spend your skill points, but they they have a null value um, until you reset your session uh, until you log off and back on so you know if you go VR and then all of a sudden you come back and you you notice that your uh, your container relay your your container distance is wrong or you're mining really slow or your boosts aren't getting applied to ships uh, it's probably because you went, were in VR anyway that PSA out of the way uh, let's continue talking about what we were talking about. If I open up my nano crafter and I click the button to not, you know, to turn off the nano crafter only, um, one way I could do is click on materials here, honeycomb materials, and you can see you've got product and pure. So if like we look at pure, we can look at all of these. And if you click on any of them, because they all have the same stats um, in terms of like all of the lithium honeycombs have the same stats. Uh, all of the iron honeycomb have the same stats, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. But it, like, if we look at uh, aluminum honeycomb here, we can see that it has 1,728 hit points per meter squared. You got some resistances here because each uh, weapon type does a different type of damage, um, and then you have your unit mass. So aluminum is 27 kilograms per meter squared, um, and then if we look at like. Uh, Let's see lithium right um, lithium is 5.3 kilograms per meter square but it has a hit point of 339 so it's basically paper so you wouldn't use that on a pvp ship but you might use it on a racing ship um, if we look at iron well iron has 5,000 hit points per meter squared and 78 is 78 kilograms so as you start looking into like, this has more hit points, but it also weighs a lot. So if I made a ship out of iron, the ship itself might have issues getting into orbit, regardless of what cargo I have. So you just definitely don't want to use iron or, or uh, copper or steel. So if we look at copper, now have 89.6 kilograms per meter squared, but we have more hit points, right? 5,734. If we look at gold honeycomb, we can see that we we now weigh 193 kilograms per meter squared, but we've got 12,352 hit points per meter squared. Um, and then if we look at, uh, like I said, product honeycomb, and you can see steel is a product honeycomb, so was mislabeled uh if we look at steel you can see it's also 5,000 meters uh, uh 5,000 hit points per meter cubed and it weighs 80 kilograms so you know you got some pretty looking steel you got some pretty looking uh iron and those are the four uh things you want to avoid in a cargo ship or a racing ship or a like market runner 
but those are things you want to use if you're making a PVP ship. So this is a good way to, te to check and see um, like what your weight is. If we look at carbon fiber, um, you can see it's got the same hit points as, uh, well, a little bit more hit points than aluminum, but, uh, and it weighs 0.38 kilograms more per unit, uh, per meter squared than, than aluminum. So like I said, it's, it's not even worth talking about, oh, well, aluminum weighs less, so I would use carbon fiber. It's 0.38 kilograms per meter squared. Come on, guys. Come on. Um, carbon itself weighs lighter than aluminum, uh, but it's also ugly. So that's where we're at. If we look at silver, same thing, right? We're 104 kilograms per meter squared, but it's got 6,713 hit points. So let's look at an example of um, what you would do if you were building a PVP ship. So I am going to VR over to Crash Industries uh, to take a look at Justin's uh, PVP ships and we'll get going on that. All right, well, I don't know why everything is floating in here. Maybe they were replaning the floors and I just screwed that up. So sorry, sorry guys. I didn't mean to walk on your wet floor. Uh, so we're gonna look at um, Justin Justin person Grimm, Justin Grimm, um, Justin Grimm's ship here. This is the Tiger Shark. It is a, you know, very meta uh, styled PVP ship. And if we look at what it's made out of, you have polished white steel, right? Most of it is polished white steel. And then the important bits are galvanized black gold. So this is around where the bridge is. So this is all plated in gold, so you don't get, you know, capped uh, in your bridge where you don't want it, right? <laughs> and I would jump up and go in there, and we could take a look at the interior too, but I guess since they were painting the floors, they decided to lift all the ships up. Um, but, like, if we look back here, we got more gold to protect, like, certain components. So I'm going to assume that's probably where, like, the warp drive is or maybe the core is back there as well. Um, but that is covered in gold. And then we've got, like, a strip of gold here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't want to make a whole ship out of gold because it's not cost effective. Um, but the important bits, you know, we've got galvanized gold there and some glossy gold strip here uh, and some more gold there. Um, you know, if you can keep your overall gold down, um, you were, it works out a little bit better for you, especially if you're going to be selling multiple ships. Um, you don't want to be looking for gold nuggets for years in order to build a ship. Uh, so yeah, most of the meta is steel and gold. Um, you know, if we look at this ship here, it's polished black iron on the outside. And if I could get in there, you would see that, uh, it's polished that there's a lot of gold components like the entire bridge area on the inside is uh, is basically circled with gold so if they blow a hole through your iron on the outside and they hit that gold on the inside it's not gonna like instantly kill you it lets you last a little bit longer makes fights more drawn out etc etc uh, right right so that is what's going on there so when we talk about like PVP ships, that would be what you would want to cover your ship in. And then we talk about regular ships, like this is all plastic and carbon fiber, which keeps the weight down because you want to be able to carry stuff. And uh, hopefully that explains some stuff. Um, you know, uh, Neocryptor has a video featuring the Tiger Sharp. Uh, I think it's a couple weeks ago he did a PVP showcase. So you can check out Neocryptor's video if you really want to see the inside of this ship and how it flies and things like that. Um, but yeah, mostly iron and gold. So uh, you might also notice that this ship does not have atmospheric engines because most of these PVP ships don't come in atmosphere. See, it's just rocket and or um, not rocket, but space engines. Um, because they are so heavy, they probably wouldn't would require a wall of engines in order to get off the ground. Um, so 
if you do see a PvP ship or you're thinking of building a PvP ship, you probably want to make an orbital platform so you can build in orbit and not have to worry about the weight. The only thing you have to worry about with weight is, you know, how fast can I accelerate? Because there is a top speed in space and um, it just it, it's just how fast can I get up to that speed. All right. And that's all I have for today on this subject. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comment section down there. I will try my best to answer them. And uh, if you have any videos or questions uh, as questions uh, and questions, <laughs> if you have any videos that you'd like to see me do on uh, topics for either like, hey, come visit my base, um, yeah, sure, I can make a video on that. Or uh, if you have a question that, like, how do I do this? Uh, I can either reference you to a video or make a video. This whole video was brought to you by somebody who asked me a question as to what's the best honeycombs to use in different um, situations. So I created, decided to do this one. Uh, so, yeah, drop a comments in there. And, uh, you know, as always, if you want to join Chimera, drop an application in. If you want to buy some ships, come by the Chimera ship cage showroom. We'll be happy to hook you up. And otherwise, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you want to be notified every time I drop a new video. Otherwise, I will see you in space. Stay safe out there, my friends.